In today's video, I will show you top 10 Google Data Studio advanced tips that will speed up your reporting. The first thing that I want to encourage you to do is to learn uh, the keyboard shortcuts. You probably know all the major ones because it is the same across all the Google products. For instance, I can copy and paste elements by pressing Command or Control C and Command and Control V for pasting. For undo, you can use Command Z, select all, Command all. Adjusting the text styling is also quite easy to do with shortcuts. Uh, Command B will make your text bold. For italics and underlined, you uh, sh could use uh, these shortcuts. For grouping and ungrouping elements, you can use keyboard shortcut Command G or Control G. Another bro block of shortcuts helps us manipulate in layers. We can send an object forward or backward. I will show you it right now how to do it. For example, here is a uh, scorecard chart and I want to place a rectangle behind the chart. I add a rectangle and then I press uh, command plus down arrow to move the element behind. To bring it back, I can press command up uh, arrow on uh, the keyboard. The last but not least, to quickly refresh the data, I can press command shift E. And, uh, the mo and my the most favorite shortcut is creating a new page uh, by uh, using Command Shift plus M shortcut. Here you go, a new page. If you have a lot of charts on the page and realize that you need to change something across all the charts, uh, in this case you can just right click on uh, the chart and select scorecards on page and then apply changes to all the charts. I want to add a comparison date range uh, previous period. And you can see everything changed. Um, the same I can do with uh, styling. I can select all the time series charts on the page and I go to style and uh, change series color to red. If you want to quickly align dashboard style with your brand colors, you can try this feature, extract theme from image. I'm uploading my logo and uh, Data Studio will try to suggest me a couple of custom themes uh, according to the image that I uploaded. If I choose uh, the theme, it will change the styling of the dashboard. Here I have two scorecards. One of them has been styled how I want. What I, do I need to do to apply the styling to other charts to copy the format only? I click copy on the chart and then I want to apply uh, changes uh, to this scorecard and I right click and then choose paste special paste style only. Also this would work uh, with other types of charts as well. Here is an example. If you are a Data Studio Power user and managing do dozens of dashboards for you and your clients, I highly suggest you to use a specific naming, naming conventions across all of your dashboards where you can use uh, the naming conventions. Uh, for dashboard names, page names, data sources, filters, blended data and calculated metrics. Uh, for example, according to the naming convention, the dashboard name uh, will be Apple Weekly PPC Performance Report. And here is the naming convention. Also, you can temporarily add status to your dashboards and page names to quickly find pages or reports that you need to finish. For instance, I often add a to-do status when I know that I need to finish a particular dashboard. And it will look something like this. If you have a lot of charts and need to apply filters to all of them, 
instead of adding filter to each chart separately, you can right click and choose the current page settings and um, then select add a filter and this filter will apply to the whole page. Also, if you want to apply the filter to all the pages, you need to right click on the dashboard, re choose report settings and uh, here you need to choose uh, add a filter. It, it, it will be applied across all the pages. What if you want to create a header and share it across all the dashboard pages? Let's do it right now. I'm adding a rectangle. Uh, then using a uh, command and down arrow to send uh, the rectangle behind. Uh, then I'm adding a date range control. Uh, for the rectangle, I will change the color. I need uh, this elements report level. So what I need to do, I select date range and rectangle. Right click and choose make uh, report level. Then I'm pressing command shift M to create a new page to check. Yeah, and you can see that the header right now is consistent across all the pages. Another tip will help you quickly align the elements. You can see that scorecards here randomly, randomly distributed uh, on the dashboards. To align them horizontally, I want to select all of them. As, and then choose align vertically, and middle. Uh, also, if I right click of them and choose distribute horizontally, it will adjust distance between the elements. These scorecards I want to align vertically, that's why I'm selecting uh, them, pressing right click, align horizontally center. Also right click distribute vertically. Also I want to distribute the, the table chart columns uh, to fit the data. To do it, I resize the chart a little bit and then right click and choose resize columns fit to data. Maybe you notice that some data sources in the data studio are loading very slow. Uh, how we can speed up this process? The extract data source feature can help you cache your data sources in BigQuery and will significantly speed up the loading data. If I click uh, on add data, then choose extract data and choose the data connector I want to select. In my case, it will be Google Analytics. Here I can choose metrics and dimension I want to see. In my case, it will be acquisition campaign and uh, sessions. And here you can see that uh, this data source will be auto updated because I enabled this uh, checkbox and it will be updated daily according to my time zone. I need to press save and extract to enable caching this data source and it will be significantly increase uh, speed. Yeah, it's almost instant. And the last tip, don't know whether your dashboard has been viewed by someone or not. You can add a Google Analytics tracking code to monitor your dashboard usage and clearly see who is viewing your dashboard from which countries and so on. In order to do it, you need to right click on the dashboard then go to report settings and then you need to paste the Google Analytics measurement ID. You can use both Google Analytics uh, Universal and uh, the new version of Google Analytics 4. Uh, you can find the tracking uh, code in the end section of your Google Analytics account. Here I go to the admins and property settings and here 
you can see my checking ID. I can copy and paste it here. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Google Data Studio. If you need help with Data Studio, check the links in the description below.